What up, what up? Oh shoot, didn't turn the alarm off. All right, as I was saying, what's cracking? Back at it again with another episode of this brat. Uh, I can turn this off. All right, so where do we leave off? Got the car running, the whole resistor fix, blah, blah, blah. Um, moment of truth. Let's see if we fix this um, power steering leak or not. Let's see if I can sneak y'all up in here with me. Let y'all check it out. Uh, that's, that's fairly dry. I didn't like clean it, clean it good after I uh, fixed it per se. Hold on, let me do the old finger test. Oh boy. I think we're golden, boys. And girls. And girls. I think we are good to go. But not on this, clearly. Still got a little drippy drip going there. That's okay. Tomorrow, I'm gonna grab some new clamps and hopefully fix that issue. Cause I found one that wasn't working the best. So we'll, uh, we'll reassess that tomorrow. But, oh uh, man, 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 man. I've been doing lots of tuning. Shout out to Father Timing, AKA Mark Bramlett, AKA MB Performance. We have been tuning nonstop for the afternoon. The second half of this day to day, I have to take the lady get some get some nails done. So this morning was a little indisposed, but we got back. I got cracking to it, man. Put the line on, put some fluid in it, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, power steering is working as it should. Feels great. No noises. So far, no leaks. Please stay that way. And then, uh, like I said, we'll try to play with that oil leak some more tomorrow with some new clamps, tiny it up, and hopefully that'll do the trick. It's just tricky trying to get that to not leak at all because the way that it it's set up, I have a check valve in there, <clears throat> like I said, and I'm pretty sure in the previous videos, but the car cools down, the oil you know, thickens back up or whatever, and whatever doesn't get pushed into the pan, we'll obviously want to back draw and sit there and pull up there. So I don't let it pull up at the turbo, but it does at the pump. And so it'll sit there at the pump and then, you know, obviously it just finds the, the easiest way out and it leaks. So I had fixed one, it was leaking on one side of the pump and I was like, okay, cool. And then it started leaking on the other side of the pump. And so I tried to tighten the clamp and the clamp was just skipping. I was like, all right, we need some new clamps in here. So maybe if I fix those clamps, I'll just hold it in the line and you know, that'd be great, fine, cool. If not, I mean, whatever. It is what it is, but I'm going to throw those new clamps on tomorrow when I get off work. And then I think I'm going to, as long as the power steering is still dry, I'm going to go ahead and put the car on the ground. I'm going to move the Honda out of the way, put it outside the house, and I'm going to put this thing outside and we're going to give her a first bath, finally. And then might do a little driving, a little longer driving. Um, like I said, I've been doing a lot of tuning with this thing today. Me and Mark been going back and forth and, you know, making small changes here and there. Just, it's really tidying up, finally. It's finally coming around. Uh, it's idling fine. It's starting up a whole lot better than it was before. Shoot, before, man, it was like eight to ten tries before I would get this thing to start up and idle and sit there by itself. But now we've gotten it down to like one to two. So we're going to see how it does on a cold, cold start tomorrow when I get off work. It takes a while to get all the heat out of it. That's why I had the fan on it. And when I had it running, you know, it's just so I wouldn't try to overheat. But um, yeah, man, it's it's getting there. Progress is being made, thank God, finally. So yeah, like I said, as long as it's not leaking power steering fluid, I'll put it down on the ground after I throw the new clamps on and we'll get to see how she sits on the new suspension up front, see how, if it took all the sag away or, or what. And then uh, we'll have to be driven around for a while, let it settle and then we'll see. But um, yeah, this thing is absolutely disgusting. Disgusting, so dirty, man. So we're gonna wash it really, really good, and then uh, if the the man himself say so, which 
on the last revision, he was saying probably like one more and then he was going to have me drive it and see how it does. You know, then we'll start doing all that because it's not 100 percent because we haven't had a load on it and driven it down the street. You know, now we got to do all the boost tuning and all that good stuff. And it's still on race gas. I, I want to put it on E85. So we have a lot more ahead of us, but it's it's getting to the point to where it's almost about to hit the road and cruise around for a little bit. So we're getting there, man. Appreciate all the love, support. We're almost there, y'all. Hopefully, uh, we'll uh, everything stays on on task and keep moving the way it's supposed to, and we can get some good content, man. I already got the foam mount chilling up in there, waiting for my my first victim, man. I get this thing dialed in and making some boost. Hopefully, at least like ten pounds, and see how much fun it is. If I need more or not, or whatever, and then you know we'll start getting some ride reactions and all that good stuff. But I'll check back in with you guys. I don't know if I'll post up tomorrow or the day after. It just depends on uh how things go, I guess. It'll probably be Tuesday. You'll get the update of Monday because if I do start driving this thing tomorrow, like that's all I'm gonna be doing is driving around, getting logs, making improvements, and you know, just trying to get as much done as I possibly can. I got a good week of sixties. Oh dang, I thought he was dead. Got a good good week of sixties weather coming up so gonna try to enjoy some of that maybe get the drag pack on and go make some hits but i'll uh i'll check back in with you guys later man